Hello and welcome to the video. Now this video is going to uh, begin looking at the losing trick count. But because losing trick count is quite a big uh, subject, I'm going to split this into two different videos. This first one will look at how we evaluate and count our losers. And then the second video will look at how that impacts our bidding. So the losing trick count then, what is it? it it's essentially a tool that we use to evaluate our hand when we're very distributional or shapely. We're still going to use the high card value points. That's still an important aspect. So this doesn't replace that. It just works in conjunction with the system that we already have. And we're going to use this with a maximum of 12 high card points. And it only works when we have an eight card fit or better in the majors. And it works for up to game level. So we're going to use it to evaluate shapely hands with that sort of six to 12 high card points. And when we have a good fit in a major, and we're going to decide whether we're going to raise our partner's uh, major to the two, three, or four level. So what we need to do then is when we find a major uh, suit fit, we're going to count our losers. And to do that, we look at the first three cards in each suit. And if we're missing an ace, a king, or a queen, each one of those missing cards is a loser. Now, voids have no loser. Singletons have one loser, doubletons have two losers. And the reason for that is if we have a void, then we're missing both the ace and the king and the queen. But because we've got a fit in a major, we're trumping those losers. And so even if the opposition have the ace of that suit, we're going to trump it, and so it's not a loser for us. And then the more difficult part is if we have something like queen xx, we're going to count that as three losers, even though we're only missing the ace and the king, unless it's either the trump suit or it's a suit that's been bid by partner, some different suit, and then we'll count it as two. So let's have a look at some example holdings in given suits and see um, how many losers uh, we can count. So here are a few examples. If we have um, the ace, the king, and the queen, and then it doesn't matter how long that suit is, we'll have no losers. Ace, queen, x, we'll count that as one. Um, ace and then small card, we'll count that as two. If we just have small card, then we have a maximum of three losers. We're only looking at the ace, the king, and the queen. Ace X there, that's a one loser. If we've got ace, king, doubleton, no losers. Avoid, no losers. And then that queen XXX, we're either going to count as two or three losers, dependent on the bidding situation. So let's have a look at an actual hand and see how we're going to evaluate that in terms of losing trick count. So here's a hand, five spades, four hearts, and then two doubletons in the minors. So how do we evaluate our hand here? How many losers do we have? And the first thing you, you need to know is, well, what, what suit do we have to fit in? So let's assume that partner opens one spade. How do we evaluate our hand? Well, first of all, I have uh, what, eight high card points. So that's in the range of 6 to 12. We've got fit in the major, so let's do the losing trick count. Let's start at the bottom here. We have two losing clubs, two losing diamonds. If we have a look at the spades. I'm missing two spades there. And the heart, well, we've mentioned that hearts hasn't been bid. And if we have queen xxx, we're going to count that as three losers. So I have two, four, seven, eight, nine losers. So nine losers if partner opens one spade. Now, does it make a difference if partner opens one heart? Yes, it does. We still have two losers in the minor suits. So two, four, five, six for missing the ace and the queen. But now we've only got two losing hearts. So now we have eight losers. So if we have a fit in hearts, I'm going to count this as eight losers. If I have a fit in spades, I'll count this as nine losers. Now, that does make a difference to the way that we've bid them. So we'll pick that up in the next video.